my dad had this 50th anniversary copy of Life magazine and it was just a special edition on photography and it was just amazing. Just the fact that uh, you can freeze something in time, uh, you know, one moment and uh, you've just got that one kind of slice of narrative. You never really know what happened before it, you'll never get to know what happens after it. In a way, um, photography's weakness in terms of that, as opposed to like the moving image, is that's where, it, you know, it, that's its strength. When I left Bournemouth and Poole College of Art, uh, a lot of the students moved to London and um, I, I moved to Manchester. I, I, you know, I was in a city that was sort of buzzing with sort of music and into photography. I, I just ended up sort of working with bands and just getting into um, sort of music photography. Uh, and my first commission was uh, the Stone Roses at Spike Island. There was a, a band called the Ruthless Rap Assassins and that was the first kind of band that I worked with, uh, you know, in terms of record covers. And that led on to doing stuff with the Verve and, um, and, and they caught the, you know, the eye of Nell. Fantastic, yeah, I mean, the greatest people. So you could possibly, you know, wish to work with, you know, got, you know, many, many fond memories. And also just, you know, very open to ideas. If you're working on, you know, say, definitely maybe as an album cover, you know, there'd be sort of the road is chipping in ideas, people bringing stuff in. Um, I would say an organic process where there wasn't a sort of a rigid, right, this is the brief or this is what we're going to do. Um, it was very kind of fluid.